Hey Equestrian Gamers, Coolie here and welcome back to another video. Today we are checking out the Wagons and Carriage update on Wild Horse Island. Now there are a few updates that aren't just about wagons and carriages so I thought we would start with them and then we will look at the new items. So starting off with how the world looks, everything has been texturized. So you can see the wood here now has texture to it and all the buildings and stuff like that, which I really, really love. It definitely looks so, so good. Another new thing in the update is if we talk to William here, go to our map, there are now two travel points on mainland so we have the traditional one that I'm on at the moment but there's also one on the opposite side of the island so there is a chance that you can spawn at this dock right here or you can just travel to it oh it didn't even take me there hang on what happened I clicked the wrong one hang on we've got this we'll figure this out this dock yeah there we go that looks better so this is the new dock for mainland this will help with new servers so um, a lot of people don't suddenly appear on top of each other so it can be random you may sometimes come here but this is perfect because this is gives you a very straightforward access to the breeding center so that is one of the new things happening oh my gosh look at the texture on the breeding center isn't that cool? All right. Now, another thing is in your settings, you now have a glow intensity setting. So anything like the sun, um, neon, tack, anything like that, that's really, really bright. You can actually turn it down now. So it's not like burning your eyeballs <laughs> when you look at it. So that's definitely something you can muck around with. And another really cool little thing is you can now change how high your horse jumps. So over here on the left hand side, you can see there's jump and we've got high, low, medium. So let's start with the low jump. Should be able to. So we have, oh, I might have to go on a trot. So this is your low, medium, and then the high so this is awesome especially for role players you can actually make it so if you have a beginner horse they can only jump very low jumps and then you can pretend to train your horse so the more you train your horse the higher it can jump so awesome for shows as well because then you can actually have your beginner show and then intermediate like a grand prix and stuff like that so that is really, really, really cool. I really, really love that they added that. It just brings back yet another aspect to the game that we weren't expecting, but we're so grateful for and we didn't realize until we had it that, hey, this is really cool. So very, very, very cool new aspect to the game. Role players are definitely going to love that one. But let's go check out the carriages. So I am on mainland. And this is the brand new carriage store. Oh my gosh, that one looks so cute. Oh my gosh. That's the Royal Carriage in white and gold. Oh, fancy. So there are three carriages here. Now these carriages will change at the same time that new horses spawn in the store. So every morning these carriages will change to different types and different colors. There is seven new carriages that you can collect in just many, many, many different colors. Many, many. So this is Charlie here. Hello, Charlie. So you can speak to Charlie for information about the carriages. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Now I have collected them all so I can show you guys what they look like. Isabella, where are you going? 
She's slowly, slowly running away. <laughs> this has been happening to me all morning. <laughs> Are you? Oh, okay. Bye. Have fun. I expect Devil May Care to do that, not you. Now, while she's... Oh, no, she's back. Hello. What you need to be able to pull a carriage, so any breed of horse can pull a carriage, it doesn't matter, but your horse can only go a walk and a trot. So you cannot canter with carriages or wagons. But the first thing you need is a harness. So if you go into your crafting table here, you will find the bridles and harnesses. So driving harnesses down here. So you can select any color that your heart desires. And you can also, if you want to, you can make put a tear on it. So you can make it emerald, moonstone, gold, anything that you like. Is it necessary? No, not really. Because you can only stay in like a walk, walk and a trot. So it's like, well, eh, I don't think it's super important to use your resources on this particular thing. But the option is there if you want to. So I have created a few. So I do have a pink one here. So this is pink and gold. We're going to pop this one on Isabella. Doesn't it look so cool? So the driving harness does replace the saddle, the saddle pad and the bridle. Oh my gosh. And yes, horses can see. So these little thing here, they're called, whoops, sorry, here. Those are called blinkers. They are very, very commonly used when horses are pulling wagons carriages and also in horse racing it's very very common so if you're wondering that's what those are oh my gosh it looks so cute so your horse does need one of these so you do have to craft one of these to be able to use a wagon or a carriage now the two different ways you can get wagons is you can purchase them so all of these um, wagons, they are, you can get them for tokens. So there's no Robux only ones. So definitely keep searching um, and just waiting for the perfect carriage to come up for token. And the second way is you can craft one of them. So in your crafting menu, go to vehicle and cart. This is the only kind of wagon that you can craft. So you can choose all your different colors. You can have a primary and secondary color. So if you're looking for a cart that suits your horse perfectly, this is the way to go. But this cart, you don't have any space for anyone to ride on it. So there are no passengers for this particular cart. But if you have the resources, then you can craft it for free. So let's have a look at one of them. So you can see in your inventory, there is now a vehicle section and I have been collecting some. So let's just go with a random one, shall we? We'll, we'll just go with this wagon. So I've just equipped it to Isabella. Now you can drive and you can also have passengers. So people can hop in your cart but if you don't want that to happen like if you don't want people jumping into your cart or wagon you can actually change it over here on the left hand side so passengers for me at the moment is unlocked so anyone can jump in but you can also change it to just your friend or no one at all so locked means no one can hop on i just leave it unlocked because it's fun <laughs> it is so much fun running around now let's go ahead and we're going to have a look at all the different styles of wagons that you can get starting off with the cart so this is a pink and white cart this is the craftable one so no passengers can go onto this one then we have the wagon. So this is one that can hold two people in the back of it. And they all come in many, many different colors. This one is the hay ride wagon. Now you can 
have six people right on this one so this is definitely like the biggest wagon that you can get oh my gosh i didn't get a white and pink one but i got a little bit of pink on this one this one is the stage coach so you can have two passengers inside with this carriage which is super duper cute it looks quite dark it's actually a light blue uh, it's like pearl blue so this color lightens up during the day love when it's daytime it looks super cute this one is called the vis-a-vis vis -a -V, I think I got that somewhat correct I did google it I certainly did so this one is actually uh, French and what it is is it means face to face so for this carriage you can have two passengers and they face each other so that is where the name for that one comes from and I think it's super duper cute like it reminds me in so many movies like American movies they have like horse-drawn carriages in Central Park I think it's called and they kind of look like this and I think it's lovely this would be like perfect for role-playing a wedding or something like that that would be so cute and finally we have the royal carriage which does not disappoint oh my gosh how cool is this so i swapped over to devil may care because this carriage just suits him perfectly how cool does that look oh my gosh oh you can imagine all the different role plays with this one like a royalty role play or like a cinderella one oh it'll be so cute these are really 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 cool so these do sit two people inside so if i bring back my button two people can sit in oh my gosh i'm gonna keep an eye out for a pink and white one for sure but this looks really really cool i do love the black and red it looks absolutely incredible like look at even the lamp suit um the aura on my horse oh it's super cool super 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 duper cool get out of your seat first oh i've got to jump <laughs> never mind i'm like why am i exiting oh my gosh it looks absolutely amazing i love 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 this one this is definitely my favorite so again two passengers can go into this car so when you do another thing little thing to add on is when you do pick up your horse and it's wearing a carriage or a wagon when you spawn in the horse again it will already still be equipped with the wagon which i really really like because there's some wagons i want to match with certain horses and i love that i don't have to keep putting it on and off and on and off but to remove the wagon simply click on your horse tack and accessories and you can remove it from there or if you're in your inventory anyway in your vehicles you could just click on it and remove from there as well all right swapping over to just the little craftable wagon oh the green looks so cute there are some zones in which you will automatically unquip the wagon so oh no vehicle zones that's what they're called sorry i had to check my notes so no vehicle zones include the docks so the travel docks the breeding center role play island houses so the island fine houses is a no vehicle zone and there are a few other odd little places that I haven't found yet. But I'll just show you guys what happens. So you're coming in, you're just like, you know what, I'm going to drive straight in here. Uh, no. <laughs> it's actually a very, very smooth transaction. It's really, really smooth. So if that does happen, it just means you went into an area that you're not allowed to have vehicles another thing is your horse will automatically be picked up if you enter another wagon i noticed 
And also your vehicle will be unequipped automatically when leaving the game or traveling between islands. So if you leave the game and come back, you'll have to re-equip or if you change islands, you'll have to re-equip your carriage then. I had so much fun hanging out with everyone this morning. I was on a public server um, just waiting for carriages and wagons to pop up for me to purchase for this video. And I had a lot of fun running around and just hanging out with you guys. So I wanted to show a little bit of what we got up to. Um, just while I quickly point out a few more new things in this update. So the default inventory, so the normal inventory size has increased from 150 to 175 and the max quest point inventory so you can actually get more inventory space just by doing quests so i do a lot of quests on mainland um, to get more space so the inventory quest space has increased from 200 to 225 which is awesome because we all need more inventory space i think we can all agree with that we forever need more so that is excellent Alrighty, guys i hope that was helpful i had a lot of fun creating this video if you did enjoy the video please hit that subscribe button we have actually just today i only checked like 20 minutes ago we have reached 5,000 subscribers on youtube and i am so blown away Thank you so much to each and every one of you. I know all of you can't subscribe and that is okay. Absolutely okay. Thank you just for being here and watching the videos. I appreciate it so, so much. So I will be doing a giveaway on Wild Horse Islands. So keep an eye out for that video. That video will be coming soon. But I shall leave this one here and I shall catch you all in the next video.